Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jack Rabbit and if you knew me from the past you know that I like to do um, tarot card readings, numerology, some astrology, just to get a bigger picture of what's going on for individual signs or for celebrities that we know. Today I'm going to do a reading on Meg the Stallion or Megan Pete which is her birth name, government name, um, just to see what's going on. If you haven't heard, um, Meg came on, uh, I saw on Instagram, talking about her not being able to release any new music. She wants to release an album. She was releasing singles. They're not allowing her to do that right now. Um, she signed with the entertainment company, um, which is owned by a gentleman by the name of Chris Crawford, I think his name is, and he was an ex-baseball um, player. Actually, he was engaged to Evelyn Lazanda, and they have two children together, although they called the um, engagement off in 2017. And unfortunately for Meg, um, I think this guy, I'm not sure this is a ledge, it's a strictly ledge. I think there may be some financial issues there. So I wanted to see what is going around with Meg and will she get back to what she wants to do. So first of all, let me just mention that if you don't know, uh, Meg is an Aquarius. So being that she is an Aquarius sun sign, um, she is a very intelligent woman. Uh, she really stays in her head a lot, a real thinker. Um, she likes to plan things out and do what's best for her. Um, she can be spontaneous, and I think signing with this independent label was more of a, I don't know, new to the industry, spontaneous type of move. Um, she thinks of far-reaching things. She never wants to be the norm or like everybody else. That is not her goal. That is not her intention. She's never going to be like that. And some people try to compare her, but there is really no comparing her to anyone. Um, she's got, uh, she's a great rapper, uh, beautiful lady, um, is destined to go far actually, but she's got to get out of her own way. Her rising sign and your rising sign is really, what do you appear like to other people? Her rising sign is a Gemini. So that means that she's double air. She's really in her head about everything. She's overthinking and speculating and a lot of guesswork and she talks she is a talker she will communicate she will let you know in a minute what she thinks how she feels put you in your place whatever the case may be and so it's natural to me that she would be rapping because she's a communicator that's what she does that's what she's good at a couple other things i'm looking at in her sign are is her moon your moon really much pretty much tells you a couple things is the type of femininity that you bring because the moon is like mother also tells you the type of mother you had so in a lot of ways her mother was um her moon is in leo so her mother liked to be the center of attention her mother was um probably very attractive kept herself groomed and her hair done nails done clothes everything was on fleek um her mother would have been like a bear cub for her, being very protective of her, but also liking to be the splash and the main person or occupying the um, the conversation. And so with um, Meg's moon and Leo, she also has that same femininity, that, that beauty, that everything has to be just so, that perfectionist. She also has her Mars and Mars tells you a lot about um, the type of men you might attract or the way that you carry yourself when you are sort of like Mars is a warrior planet. How do you respond? So she's very passionate. Um, and that explains why she is super angry. She did the video. It was sort of cute, but she was letting it be known that she is not having this that she's going to bounce back. No one's going to hold her down. No one's going to tie her up. I think she has a hashtag free Megan out there. Free Megan the Stallion, I think is what it is exactly. Um, that's her. She's passionate about what she is doing and nobody is going to stop her. 
and whether she has to use her feminine wiles or jump in her ego because she's got a big ego um, and she doesn't want to be told no or put in her place. She's always kind of a person that even if you say no to her, she's looking at what's the next plan? What's the next direction I can go? She's always planning and pushing ahead more so than a lot of people, especially with her sun in Aquarius and her rising sign Gemini. She is super smart. And I think that she'll be able to push through this. Um, Leos are very tough. Leos love to be in the spotlight. And her as a Leo moon and a Leo Mars, um, she does like to be in the spotlight. She will put you in check. She has no problem with that. And she'll also turn her back on you when she does. She will not turn it the other way around. She'll be done. Her birthday is actually actually February 15th, 1995. So that means that she turned uh, 25 this year, uh, 24. So... I looked at her numerology and I looked at her um, her individually and so that's what I do I look at your month that you in which she's in number two month February and then your day which is 15 but you have to break it down to a single digit so that's a six and then 1995 also adds up to a total six so first of all for her in her early years she always had two of everything, always two opportunities, which explains why she was in college and rapping at the same time. She'd have two boyfriends or two cars or there was two houses. Maybe your mom had one, dad had another, but um, she had a lot of that. Um, relationships and harmony were really important to her back in those early days. She just kind of was a person that would uh, go along to get along. <clears throat> Having friends and companionship meant everything to her. Peace, harmony, all of that was paramount in her life. And then now she's in her 15 portion of her birth birthday. And that, like I said, adds up to being a six. And a six can be, I don't know, a little bit problematic. A six is someone who is a caretaker, a supporter, a nurturer and she's going to be doing more of that in her life sixes often can be a little bit of uh, <clears throat> things happen to them from the outside that's out of their control and which makes them a victim not not so depressed but they can almost feel like they're a victim of circumstances i made this big change i did this big thing and it backfired or let me down or I've got to be pulled away because somebody else needs my care and my support and she'll be doing a lot of that she really is going to be about family and um, marriage oh. let me get that out of the way um, yeah so that's what she's going to be about and she's going to continue that the the rest of her life is that number six because 1995 is also a six so she's really going to be having to take care of people in her life. Um, her total, when I add her birthday up, the two, the 15, the 1995, her life path is a number five. So she's always gonna have changes. This is one of many. She left her home, that's a change. She went to college, that's a change. She finished college or left college and got into the real world. She's gonna always have changes, lots of moving. Lots of changing her outer appearance, not so much spiritual internal changes, but outside changes. She might move. She won't make major moves, but she'll move from this house to the next house. Um, she'll travel. Lots of traveling going on for her all through her life. She'll travel, travel and visit different places, but she'll always come back to that one home spot. She's not really prone to want to move away from that. She doesn't see the need of that. People will come and go out of her life. If people that she loves, people she doesn't care about, um, there's always gonna be an influx of people coming and going. And for her, this is new uh, with this music industry that someone sort of steps away from you or changes come out of the blue because these changes will come out of the blue. She's going to have to learn to 
let go and let God if she wants to be successful, not only in her music career, but in her life. This is not, not going to be the only change that happens to her in her music career. And so she's going to have to be able to go with the flow with it any way that it goes. Now, this year is uh, 2020. So then I take a look at her year. And for her, that's her month two and her day 15. I add that together with the 2020 and it breaks down to a number three. A number three year is um, a social year. So that says she's going to get back up on her grime. It's a lot of socializing. It's a lot of good times. It's a lot of talking. But on the bad side, a number three can really make you feel like a victim. A number six, like I said, that you kind of feel a little bit victim or sick of the burdens because you're the caregiver. But a number three is um, something is always happening to you or you feel like that. Realistically, it's the choices that you've made that got you those results. And threes can be very spontaneous, maybe on the negative side, a little reckless, a little too fast on their decisions. And that's what she's going to be doing this year. That number three, she's going to have to wrestle with that. Yes, there'll be good times. Yes, there'll be partying. Yes, there'll be friends. There'll be a lot of talking, a lot of conversation. Um, but there'll be that other side where she's got to watch her back very carefully so that she knows where people are coming from because they, a lot of people coming through are not going to be coming through for, for the right reasons, I want to say. And then I did a spread for her um, just before I came on. And I don't know, for some reason, I like to put my glasses on for that. When I did the spread, it sort of told the whole story. It started off where Meg was really happy. And she is living that Leo moon life. She is in the sun. That's her on that horse. She's innocent. Um, that red, that means that she can have some fire, some spice in his tour. But good people, good people wanting the best, expecting the best, loving the limelight. That it was what was happening just months, six months, eight months ago. Just excited about every aspect of being in the music industry. Her dreams coming true. You could go as far as saying that. And then what's crossing her for good or bad is, oh, money. Her thought was, I'm going to make a lot of money. I'll have money. I don't have to get a nine to five job. I don't have to pinch pennies. I can have money. Money is coming to me and being offered to me. Um, she was hoping it was going to be like, um, let me get this one, like major money, like money you inherit from some wealthy family. And it it's that's just in her dreams. That's what she wants to see happen. But that is not what's happening right now. It's not what's happening. That dream that she wanted that perfect opportunity. I'm, I'm in the spotlight, I'm the star, I'm great, and I've got all this money. Money issues is what's crossing her situation right now. Not her money, whoever this Chris Crawford is, it's, I think it's 15, 1500 Entertainment, I think that's the name of the label, it's an independent label. This is Meg right here. She is the celebrated person. Everybody loves her. All eyes are on her. She loves that. All eyes are on her. And once again, like I said, she figured, well, all eyes are on me. People like what I'm doing. I should be making more money. There should be more money here. But that's not what's happening. That money is coming slowly. In the past, I think this is the guy that she met that got her on. Um, it looked like he was focused, that he believed in her vision, and there's nothing personal. It's nothing personal. But she believed in his vision, and he came, and he saw her, and they planned, and he put her plan into action. It's a night of, of wands. And he, has, he knew there were going to be hurdles. If you look in the background here, there are different mountains. He knew there was going to be hurdles to cross. He knew that he had a certain amount of money, but he didn't have all the money in the world, but he felt like he had enough to make this this happen, this uh, record label happen. And then suddenly, this is what's happening right now. 
here is a woman who is tied up. She is feeling stuck. This is the Eight of Swords. She feels stuck. She feels trapped. Um, this guy also, his hands are also tied. She almost feels like this guy has her tied. Okay, into that contract. That's what's happening. She's tied in that contract. There is a money problem. And the deal is, Meg is not really tied up as much as she thinks she's done. she does. She is. A lot of times when you overthink and you don't take a moment, you don't see clearly. And she's got that uh, Aquarius Gemini that causes her to overthink. And then that Leo Mars that causes her to speak out in angry words. That number three year that makes her feel like she is the victim. But she is too smart. She's not the victim of anything. It's not good right now. But it's time and things, everything passes in time. Everything gets better in time. This lady that looks like she's tied. Actually, if you take a look at that, she is, let me get it closer so you can see. The front of that semicircle of swords is open. She can walk out. The the ties that are around here, they're just like when you play the game and the mummy game when you were a kid or your parent did that or you did that for someone and you got the tissue paper wrapped around you, that can be taken off. She can rip her arms out and she can walk away at any time. What's in her fear is news. She is fearing messages coming to her that whatever she wants or whatever crack, uh, contractual deal that she wants to happen may not happen and she is really upset and this is all about the ego right here this card says you got some fat you're afraid of fast messages coming some strange news coming and this says i am i'm the bomb i'm everything see how everybody loves me look i'm riding high above everybody right now and her ego is telling her this and her fear is telling her that news could knock you down. Right now, I'm here to tell you that from what I see in my reading, this is just entertainment, but she doesn't have the money she thinks she should have. She's not making the money that she wants to make. She doesn't feel like she has the money that she deserves. She's juggling Peter to Paul. You can see on this card there, the waters are big waves. There's troubles behind her. There's ships coming in and barely going out. She's juggling and dancing and trying to make things work. She's doing it. She's holding on, but she's just barely holding on. This is not what she thought it was going to be with this particular company. She knows that there are people making money. She's looking, trust me. She's looking at Nikki. She's looking at Cardi. She's looking at anybody, any female rapper in the game that has made money. And she's feeling like, I am as important as they are. I'm as bomb as they are. I'm as fly as they are. Where is my money? I shouldn't be struggling like this. I should be having mansions and everything else. A part of her is nostalgia nostalgic in the sense that says in her hopes or wishes she wish she could go back to the old days not because they're the old days but i think she feels if she went back in time again she wouldn't sign with that company period she wouldn't sign here she is again tied up and saying you know what if I could go back this would never happen to me I wouldn't have signed with them I would have waited or I went would have went to somebody else that was more established because now here I am and I'm juggling just like the old times again and I shouldn't have to do that ultimately though the good news is she's got a wish and her wish is going to come true her wish is coming true. She's frustrated and she's angry right now as anyone would be. If you mess with my money, I know I am. If you mess with my money, honey, you better watch out. But she gets her wish and that means that she will probably sign with another label or or if she stays with this Chris, I, I don't see that happening because she's angry right now. And like I said, she has a, her Leo's and Mars and she could walk away from it 
But if she stays, then that puts her in a position of being a victim of the next bump or grind in that. But if her wish comes true, as it looks like it will at this point, um, she's going to be just fine. She's going to get the money that she wants or she deserves that she's earned. And she's going to be just like this guy over here, highly satisfied, feeling completely fulfilled. I'm glad I stood my ground. I'm glad I spoke up for myself. I'm glad I put it out there so people could see because she's going to get free from that particular situation and she's going to be able to carry on and be great. Okay, guys, that was my look at Meg. Um, once again, Megan is a very smart lady. She is black excellence. As many of our young performers are, she's black excellence. And she's going to do just fine. And I think that she's going to uh, create wealth for herself in a way that she hadn't in the past or couldn't or dreamt that she would. And then that didn't turn out the way that she thought it was. Um, she wasn't getting paid what she should have. I don't know who in the business that she can talk to that's going to be really legit with her reason I say that is because I think female artists may have a tendency to be a little bit insecure or catty or jealous or not trusting because they've been burned too. And um, I think the guys think about other things that have nothing to do with the, their head on the head on their shoulders, but maybe the one below. Um, so I don't know who she's going to talk to, but she's going to need to talk to some people. She's going to have to take this legal um, unless they quick sign a release for her contract. But I just want to pull one last card for her that says, what do the angels want her to know? What can she rest assured in? If ever in life she was to see this video, I want to know, what do the angels have to say to me? I think I showed you this last time. This is my golden opportunity. I've had these so long that this part has come off. And yes, I could get some new angel cards, but Doreen Virtue isn't making them anymore. And I might be able to replace these, but I've gotten so used to these and so energized. So let me stop making excuses and tell you. It says, don't worry, Megan. Your prayers have been answered. You will be released and you will go on to bigger and better things so that you can release your albums or singles or whatever it is you want to do. Um, you got the capability of doing that. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Jack Rabbit. If you like this video, subscribe, send a comment, share. Let me know what you think. And I'll be back again real soon with another celebrity reading as well as my weekly March forecast for next week. Thanks guys and have a great day.